hello everybody and uh welcome welcome to uh today's uh take your child to work day so this is my son connor and he will be joining us for a um a lesson now i have coffee but connor did you grab a coffee no he doesn't drink coffee so there we go all right so we're going to be doing let's see what have we got here just checking on on things oh i think we might have one person joining us in here hello you can uh, you can post comments i'll keep an eye on them the whole whole shebang here hello diane oh my gosh happy happy wednesday so we're going to show you how to play play a song on connor's going to do it on his ukulele or on his guitar and i'll do it on my ukulele and I'm not going to tell you guys the name of the song yet. We'll learn it first. It'll be a surprise. Um, so, Diane, I don't think you've ever seen my son, Connor. Here he is. Ah! <laughs> um, he's been playing guitar for how, how many years have you been playing guitar for, Connor? Two. He's lying. It's been way longer. Three. No, you've been playing guitar for longer than that, haven't you? Two or three. No. Way longer. When have you been having lessons with... When did you start having guitar lessons with Mike? Oh my gosh, I don't remember. I don't remember. Three and a half years, maybe. Really? That's it? Yeah. Oh, he really shreds on the guitar. Only a couple of years of lessons? Huh. So, um, yeah, Diane, Connor... Uh, has uh, take your child to work day and we thought it was on Friday turns out it was today and uh, so he's decided to hang out with me today it's pretty fun <laughs> so this is part of what we're gonna do we'll do a live stream lesson and um, so Diane do you have your ukulele with you and coffee because <laughs> we totally need that we're gonna start off with um, just two two different finger picking patterns we won't worry about showing any any chords or anything yet just the two finger picking patterns so um diane let me know when okay you're ready you got coffee and water and your ukulele and everything all right so the first finger picking pattern let's just warm up our fingers first okay so get the feel of the the full plant idea and i know that i've talked with you about it before in lessons um but what I want you to do is play with your thumb on the fourth string, index finger on the third, middle finger on the second, ring finger on the first. Okay, just like that. So for anyone that joins us, ask away, ask questions. So I'm just doing this. Connor, you want to do that on, on the guitar? Just do open and just, yeah, the fourth string. Nice and slow. Yeah, good. Yeah, carry on. So, good. Yeah, do it a few times. I'll get your thumb on the fourth string. Yep. Yep, there we go. Yeah, good. So that whole full plant idea is going to pay off with this song because we're going to use just two different finger picking patterns. Um, yeah, it's so much fun. Okay, so the first one is going to be, in terms of strings, four, three, two, three. I've got to move that camera down a bit. Hey, Connor, I keep having to lift up my ukulele. All right, let's do a little adjustment here. There, oh, that'll be better, hey? Okay, so four, three, two, three. Okay, can you play that on the guitar? Just open still. Yep. Four, three, two, three. Four, three, two, three. Yeah, do it a little bit louder so it picks up on the mic. Yeah, right on. Okay, so guitar or ukulele, whichever. So four, three, two, three. Okay, and then the other pattern is one, two, three, two. So you kind of flip it inside out. One, two, three, two. So try that a few times. Strings one, two, three. 
three, two. Okay, Connor, can you play that? Yeah, right on. Do it a couple times, Connor. Yeah, cool. Oh, it's nice to have somebody with me here on the screen in a live stream. It's really actually quite exciting. <laughs> All right, now we've got to put those two finger picking patterns together. Um, I will put the tab in the uh, right in the um, in the files on this page so you can grab it afterwards and it's a surprise song still okay so I'm going to play four three two three and then one two three two I'm going to do that a few times so you can kind of catch on to it four three two three one, two, three, two. I'll do it one more time and then Connor, you can do it a few times, okay? Four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Um, Diane, it might be an idea if you have a pencil handy and whoever else is watching, right? I just, I'm saying Diane because she's commenting. <laughs> um, write that down so you have that finger picking pattern just written down. So it's four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. And I'll write it down in comments so you've got it there. Connor, can you play through, th through that? Yeah, cool. Okay, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. There's the picking pattern written right there. Now we've got to start chucking some chords in there. Okay, so the first one, and this is going to work on your guitar, on your ukulele, high four tuning, low four tuning. My, I play with a low four tuned ukulele, so, you know, it's going to sound a little different. Diane, you're awesome. You've written it down. You've been practicing. Okay, you're rocking it. You're rocking it. Okay, so seventh fret on your fourth string fifth fret on your third string. That's the first chord shape we're going to make. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to get used to the chord shapes. You got it? Okay, awesome. That's so exciting, hey? Okay, so we get our chord shapes down. All the shapes are going to be moving up and down strings four and three, whether you're playing guitar or ukulele, okay? So seven and five. Now, what I want you to do is notice how I move from one chord to another. So we've got seven and five. I lift up my ring finger and I shift back to my fourth fret with my pointer finger and put my middle finger down on that fifth fret now. See, O'Connor's doing the same thing on his guitar, okay? So now I've got frets five and four. Okay, let's go back up. Let's practice that. So we've got seven and five. Okay. Five and four. When I say the first number, that relates to the fourth string. Okay, so five and four. And now what I want you to do is slide down to three and two. We're both wearing black shirts. We're in a uniform. Look at us go, hey? Connor and I are dressed in our work gear. <laughs> Okay, and then I've had a lot of coffee already. Connor hasn't had any, but I appreciate you being down here with me. Okay, so we've got three and two. Now, look at this. I'm just shifting back with my index finger again, like a train on a track, to two and one. Okay, so we're going to practice that because I want you guys to feel confident with the chords before we throw in the finger picking. Shift up with me, Connor. Head up to seven and five. I'm trying to make it so they could see the guitar. Yeah, right on. Can you move a little closer? You can move closer if you want. Yes. Right? Yeah. And I'll, I'll move off to the side, you guys. There. Mother will move off to the side. There. Okay. <laughs> so seven and five. Keep your index finger in contact with that string. Five and four. Three and two. Two and one. Okay. And then there's an extra little bit that we're going to do when we get down to two and one. 
we're going to shift up to four and six. You're going to have it all written down, but I want you to just feel it, okay? Now, we're going to take that picking pattern, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two, and we're going to apply it to seven and five here, okay? Check this out. Four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Okay, try that with me. Connor, you hit it on the guitar. Okay, and I'll play it again on the ukulele. Four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. One more time on guitar, then we're going to shift to the next chord. Good. Now down to five and four. Same pattern. Pattern doesn't change until we get down to two and one. That's where it gets a little weird. Okay. Four, three. good okay now down to three and two same picking pattern four three two three one two three two when you get down to two and one this is where the pattern steps outside a little bit you do first time through Do it normal, okay? Then watch this. You play it again. You're transitioning back up to the top. So you play, just sit with me here and do this. So we've got two and one. We play the full pattern. And then just the first half. Four, three, two, three, shift up to four and six. Four, three, two, three. Okay. So, Connor, can you play that on your guitar? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, play the full shebang. Each chord is repeated. play the full shebang. I'll demonstrate it and, and then we'll play it together, okay? So you're on five and seven, you play it twice. Then again. Five and four. Down to three and two. Down on two and one, we do it one full time. Then half. So four, three, two, three, slide up to four and six. Or six and four, pardon me. And then it starts over again. Connor, can you play that on the guitar? Mm -hmm. Then I can have some coffee. and then it flips around so oh we got it going on um yeah if you make a mistake it's actually never the end of the world <laughs> i might feel like it but it actually isn't ever now the name of the song i haven't told you guys what it is so um i don't know if anybody was a teenager in the 80s but one of my favorite bands was motley crew oh. so they did this song 
um, it was just a short one, this instrumental deal called God Bless the Children of the Beast. And they put it in at the beginning of their remake of the Beatles song Helter Skelter. So this is a Motley Crue tune. It doesn't sound very heavy, <laughs> but it's really fun to play. All right, so let's play it together now. Okay, I've got the ukulele going. If you have questions about it, then let me know. Like I say, I'm going to drop the, um, the tab in the files part here. But uh, let me just take a look. I've got a couple. Okay. All right, here we go. So I don't know if Laura Lee is um, watching this, but Laura Lee, if you are, I know you can probably play this on your guitar. <laughs> All right, here we go. Seven and five, and we'll play that pattern twice. And again, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Now five and four. And again. Three and two. Knows. Okay, here we go. Oh, four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. Now half pattern. And then it starts over again. So it just cycles, cycles around over and over. Um, two times and then we've got a little change at the end. Let me show you what I've got here. Connor, I've got to shove this in front of you for just a minute. Sorry, buddy. Okay, so... I know, right? You'll you'll be on the screen again in a minute. I, what I've done here is I've just written down the chords, what they look like on the fourth string, okay? That's it. Now this one here, see how I've written one, two, and four, six in the same section? That's because down here you've got one, this two and one, and you play through the whole thing, and then this one's that partial one, okay? So I'll take a picture of that and put it up too, because it depends on, on how you're learning. Which fret and string on the guitar to start with? You start on the seventh fret, and it's on the fourth string. Raise it a bit higher? Absolutely! All right. Sorry, Connor. I'll go like this for just a second. I know Robin's probably taken a screenshot of it. You play this part twice, and then this is the pattern to finish it. Seven and five. So what I'll do is I'll show it again with the six strings of the guitar, okay? And then you can see the, the difference. So you play the same pattern, but look down here, it changes. You do uh, da, 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 one time here, and then instead of that transitional bar, you just end on a D minor strum, okay? Now I'll, I'll add in the extra strings for guitar, and reveal Connor again. Poor kid had that stuffed in front of him, I tell you. All right, here we go. So is it questions? You know, by all means, type, type anything you need to in the chat. We're on it. We're watching. I used to get really um, thrown off by reading stuff without all the extra lines for uh, guitar. It's amazing how uh, how your mind can adapt after a while though. All right, so that's, that's the part that repeats. And then this is going to change. Oops, sorry, Connor. Can you play it for us while I'm doing this? It'll be nice. We'll have some you get so such a nice boy.
Yeah, that's cool. Thanks, Connor. So if you're looking at it in terms of guitar, sorry, this is the last time I shove it in front of your face, Connor. This is what it looks like for guitar chords, so you can see the difference. And just remember this section here, you play it twice. Okay. And then down here, this part is just played one time. And instead of that transitional bar that you have here, on guitar you would strum an A minor chord. Now what I'm going to do is play it at a tempo that you would hear, hear it played. Okay. So I'll hold it up for, actually just hold it up for just a second longer and make sure that um, if anyone has any questions, you know I can also hold it up again, right? Yeah, it's handy. It's exactly the same, like, same fret here on guitar. Um, and this will be in the same key that the original song was in. All right, I'm going to play it. So nice thing about this technique wise is that it reinforces the whole concept of the the full plant which is a really good thing to have for a guitar or ukulele right just the idea you go to a screenshot awesome this thing is so much fun to play on the guitar and I mean I'll sit and play these sorts of things um, you know like at art galleries when I'm playing there or, or wherever and people don't necessarily know it's from a from a metal band from the 80s they just hear this you know these really neat lush chords it that's the whole shebang what is the name of this piece it's called Diane it's called God bless the children of the beast by Motley Crue I'll type it down in the comments you can look it up oops what did I do there there we go try again oops Can we have the same tempo on guitar? Absolutely. Connor, did you want to play it at that speed? Okay. Yeah, let's go for it. All right. All right. The whole shebang. The whole shebang. Connor. Connor learned that this morning just before um, just before the live stream so it's pretty cool right on um, at the end of the song that last chord something to keep in mind just like how Connor was strumming it and how I was strumming it take your time with it let it be the end so when I say that 
slowing down that picking and then look at how I strum straight down wherever you are strum down parallel to the fretboard okay it'll give it a really nice consistent sound when I say that what I mean is if you start strumming here your tone changes it starts sounding one way here see how bright it is there hear all those different sounds so choose the tone you want and just strum straight down I'm glad you like Connor's hair yeah it's yeah. messy but it's cool he had really long hair before you guys really long hair it was down to mid back yeah, like, maybe here or something. So nice. Thick, amazing hair. And then uh, cut it off, donated it to the... To the something. To the children's... Mm, in Vancouver, there's a place where you can... Um, do a wigs for kids. That's what it was. It was wigs for kids. And he went from super long hair to hair that, that long. And it was it's a good chunk of hair that you donated. It's really cool. I'm, I'm hoping that he grows his hair really long again. <laughs> Maybe? No. No? Oh. <laughs> this length is fine. Oh, okay. Because this length, they don't have to tie it back. Oh, for foods class? Yeah. Okay, any longer it has to be tied back. There you go. Um, so, oh, it's 10 o'clock. How are we doing here? Um, I'm wondering, with you guys that are watching, how is it feeling? Does the picking make sense? Like when I say four, three, two, three. One, two, three, two. Sometimes people are comfortable using all their fingers like that, and sometimes they're not ready, and it's okay. Watch this, see if I can do it. What I'm doing there is I'm playing four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two. I'm moving more with my thumb, you know, because maybe I'm not ready to use all those fingers. This finger's weak feeling. Connor, how did it feel using that finger? I do use it for some songs. But oh, that's true. Yeah. yeah. Not normal. Yeah. So, adapt it if you need to. Okay? But you'll find that that picking pattern sounds amazing with different chord progressions. Um, practice on frets. Yeah, it takes a little bit to get comfortable with that. Um, but it'll it'll come. Shall we place the pinky on the guitar board? Well, that's a matter of um, personal preference, I would say. Connor, were you playing with your baby finger on the, on the soundboard? No, like for like the hand. Or... Yeah, for that hand. No. I think you kept it free. Yeah, you play more like me. Um, so my background is pretty pretty heavy duty classical guitar. When I was taking all my lessons I was told to never touch the soundboard because the whole idea was to let it the soundboard create its resonant sound freely without any thing stopping it. Okay and then I found out that there are different guitar schools, different schools of instruction and in those ones you were told yeah it's okay to place your pinky so what that amounts to is I want you to decide what feels comfortable for you. Okay. I find for me, I feel like it, it, because of my background, all my training, I feel like if I place a pinky, it interferes with the comfortable movement of my fingers. Other people are fine. I just, I can't do it. So you decide. People play either way and it's totally cool. 
you'll find that I get wishy-washy about things like that because it's um, it's really what what feels right for you. Um, I would recommend with with this song to try to memorize it like you've got the pattern for sure um, and then once you feel comfortable with the changing the chords then it'll be easy for you to just sit and play it and enjoy it. The big tip that I would give you guys though on whatever instrument you're playing think about leading those chord changes with your index finger. See how I'm keeping my index finger on that string like a train on a track. I'm not lifting it because I don't have to. So there I am on seven and five. It yeah, not placing it does give more flexibility. Yeah. And there's I need to brace my pinky on the uke. See? Two two different ways to play. And if it works for you, it's perfect, right? Because we're here's the thing, we're all different people. Our hands um, maybe have a bit of a different history. I mean, this hand, my fretting hand, is uh, pretty sore in here. So sometimes you'll see me playing a bit differently than than I than someone else. You work with what you got, and with how your hands work and how your mind approaches these things. But the technique that everyone could do, whether you know, like whatever their hand shape is, is definitely keeping that finger anchored because you'll find that when you do that, it gives you more confidence with finding these chords. Connor, were you doing that? Let's find out how my son was playing it, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> were you keeping any fingers down on the strings or were you lifting your fingers up when you were changing chords? Don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just kind right. of played. Oh, okay, just kind of played. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, now I wonder, it's only been half an hour and I feel like you guys probably got that going pretty good. Maybe we should do a quick review of one other song that I haven't done on this for a long time, which is um, Romance. This one, let me just, I'm just going to take a no, it'll be okay. I'm going to erase this and we're going to write down some frets and we'll just play around with a little bit of picking because I was hoping to have it as a one hour live stream and I feel like you guys have probably got the whole chord thing going pretty good there. Extra bonus. Okay, so this one is going to use just strings one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So while I'm writing stuff down, practice that a little bit. Connor, could you do that too on, on your, just one, two, three, one, two, three on your guitar? Yep. Yep, that's what you want. And I'm writing down some frets. And we can sit and just play it. Mm. Uh oh, I wrote it too big. Hang on here. Oh, Connor's got it going on. You hear him playing it? Try to guess. <laughs> yeah? Here, there we go. You tried to guess? How did you do? I was wrong. You were wrong? Oh, yeah, that was way off. Yeah? You guys still practicing the one? Oh, you love that song? Can you play that one already? It's such a it's such a fun one to play. This is just um what I call my level one version of it. And in this one, we don't have any barring or anything like that. We just play through the main core of the melody. Can you play it all, Connor? Probably. Let's let's hear how Connor does with this. So again, it's just strings one, two, three. Yeah, 
right on. Something else on absolutely. Do you know your E minor chord? Or you could just hit your six string open. Uh, yeah. I do power chord, but then Yeah. Zero yeah, you could do no, zero. Sound right. Nope. Make it as a do two fingers instead of bar in there. And now strum everything. Uh, okay. So you guys might want to take a quick screenshot of this. Sorry, Connor. It's back in front of your face again. <laughs> so, same thing on ukulele as guitar. Okay. I'll just hold it up there for, for just a couple seconds there. Okay. All right. And I'll, I can type it down in the chat too. But the main idea with this one is just strings one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, all the way through. You play that because this melody just sits on the first string. And Connor, you played that really nice. First time ever playing it. Ah, it's so much fun. Okay. So I'm going to take this down now, and I, I will type it in the comments as well, okay? But this way you got a screenshot if you need it. We'll give it so, so Connor can, can look at that. So all these numbers I'm typing in go right with the first string. And then there. All right. So you can sit there and just play strings one, two, three. Okay. Practice it like that. And now, Connor, I think you're using your thumb on your third string. Mm -hmm. I usually tell people, don't use your thumb on your third string. He played it fine with his thumb on his third string. So I'm going to go up to my seventh fret, and I'm just going to walk through this a little bit, okay? So seventh fret, and the picking is going to be one, two, three. Some people do this, and that's okay. Something like that. Connor plays like that. So I'm going to play, and we'll just walk through it a little bit at a time. In the chat, I've got all the frets written down that you can you can cruise through there. Okay, so seven, seven, seven. So seven, 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 then seven, five, three. Seven, always with the strings two and three after each number, right? So seven, then to five, and then to three, three, two, oh, and the O is just that first string open, open three, seven, open three, seven. I call that the transitional bar because it gets you halfway up to your 12th fret. So take a second, find your 12th fret, and then play it three times. And now 12, 10, 8. So I'm giving it to you in groups of three, because the song is in three, four time, three beats per bar. Seven, five, three now. I've got these fingers tucked in just so you can see what fret I'm playing. I wouldn't normally play like that. I'd have it like that, but then it's harder to see what's going on, right? Okay, the last one is 3-2-0. Remember how Connor said it sounds like there needs to be something at the end? If you're playing guitar, you would do an E minor chord. Playing ukulele, A minor. So I'll write that down at the end. Now this is just a, um, the first, like I said, the first level that I do when I'm teaching these songs. So it's designed to get your fingers moving 
and give you a song that um, sounds sounds pretty. You can tell that there's something more that you need to put in there, but it gives you a chance to play it without having to worry about any barring, because barring can be a little bit daunting at first. All right, so to end, ukulele A minor, and I'll just write down the fret numbers that you would play, or guitar E minor. Zero, two, two. There. Okay. So that picking pattern is uh, easy peasy compared to the, the Motley Crue one, right? Where it's just da, 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 da. I'm just going to um, sit there and, and give you guys a chance to run through those, all those numbers on the chat and see if it makes sense to you. Um, I haven't played that song for a while on the guitar though. Corner, could I borrow the guitar? This is a, a Brazilian guitar. It's a De Giorgio and it was made in 1981. And I'm wondering when Motley Crue did God Bless the Children of the Beast. Which album that was? I've been thinking about that. I can't remember. Alright, so I'm going to play the full shebang of romance for you. First I'll do this version and then I'll play the whole thing. <laughs> wiggle my finger. That's called vibrato. I'm just jiggling it a little bit. Now back to 753. 320. So that's a nice way to play romance without having to worry about any any stretches, right? The full thing. into a um, major part after that but that's uh, the first part of the song that people learn and oh my gosh that felt good playing that again mm. now I'm looking for any questions about about romance just write down Sometimes people get um, a little bit thrown off by having the the open strings constantly playing underneath that, that fretted number, right? So I'll play it on the ukulele there again. Okay. Can we have the tabs for this piece? Absolutely! Oh my gosh! In fact, I think it might be sitting in the files there. So what I do now is I do um, Zoom lessons and I also live stream it usually to my YouTube channel. I still got to get the software set up so I can stream to Facebook and YouTube. But I think, I think if you looked in the files on the beginner's finger picking, you would find that music sitting there. I'll, I'll look through too and make sure it's there. Um, and it's beautiful. Just, it's one of my favorite songs to play. I just love it. I did, um... Um, I've been working on recording some music with uh, with a studio in town, and that's one of the ones I want to do on my on my ukulele, the the full shebang, you know, do the whole thing. So I'm curious for my my guitar playing friend there that likes romance. Um, how long have you been playing guitar for? I get very curious about about people. I just I just want to know how everyone uh, is doing and how long they've been playing and um, 
type it in the comments. Let me know how long you guys have been playing for. I started playing when I was 13, was when I had my first guitar lesson. And I felt like I'd been... It is, Diane, it's, it's such a soothing piece of music, you know? It's a rainy day here, and I love playing music like that on rainy days. Um, I started playing guitar when I was 13, and started doing classical technique probably about six months into my playing and that's when I found I really just wanted to finger pick so even when I'm playing on my electric guitars I tend to play with my hands a lot and Connor you're you're 13 now no you're 14 yeah time is flying by and I don't even Almost realize 15 what how'd that <laughs> happen oh my gosh 15 in March yeah oh my gosh so you started you were bringing your guitar into school for show and tells. Grade I know six. Grade five. Oh, yeah. Grade five. So you've been playing longer than two or three years, sir, mister. I think you started when you were in grade four. I think so. I don't think so. I think so. You think grade five? No, but you were already playing Master of Puppets in grade five. You were playing that on the guitar? That's what you played for? No. What did you play? I group? played the Imperial March. Oh, did you? Oh. <laughs> but it was really bad, though. <laughs> I have very different memories of what you play in school, I guess. <laughs> when did you play Master of Puppets for your class? Never. You never did? I thought you did that. I did the Four Horsemen. Oh, the Four Horsemen. Was that in grade seven? Yeah. He likes a lot of Metallica. I like a lot of Metallica, too. So I'm waiting to find out how long everyone's been playing their instrument for, but no one's writing anything. That's okay. <laughs> However long you've been playing is a perfect time. Started guitar a year back. Practicing in breaks, but not continuously. You know open chords and want to learn fingerstyle. Man, you've come to the right place for learning fingerstyle. I love it. I love it so much. So Tuesdays is when I'm doing my guitar lessons. Um, and you'll see the, the Zoom link posted for it. But I also do, um, like all my lessons, you can either find them here as, as past live videos, or you find a whole bunch of them on my YouTube channel. And you just check them out, you know. Um, I post, like, the music is shared on the, on the uh, lessons as well. So you can just take screenshots of it. Um, I'll put the link for my YouTube channel right in there. Let me just get the actual proper link here. There it is. So you're, I mean, you're more than welcome to go in there and there, that's, uh, that gets you to my Tina's Music YouTube channel. And then you can you can either find me on there or that's the YouTube channel name is Tina's Music. And you know it's fine because it's got a picture of a cat playing guitar. <laughs> yeah, and you'll find a lot of lessons there. So started guitar a year back. Um and you know open chords, you'd be surprised at how much you can you can play. If you know those open chords, it's just about training these fingers. That that Motley Crue tune with the picking four, three, two, three, one, two, three, two will give you um a really good boost in terms of finger picking because what happens is if you use your fingers the way I was using them. You will be developing finger independence like there's no tomorrow just from practicing that it's like um it's just such a good tech technique boost it'll be really good for you and diane how long have you been playing ukulele for did you write something about no thanks so. no 
series of classes for fingerstyle for beginners. That's what the uh, the lessons are. You'll see um, see it listed under um, six string Saturday, and now it's changed to Tuesday guitar. <laughs> but you'll see it there, fingerstyle for beginners. And what we're doing right now is because I, I had to take a break from it. I was so busy on Saturdays, I had to figure out my schedule. So we're reviewing a lot of past material. You'll also find that past material on my website, which is tinasmusic.ca. And you'll find that under um, look, look at Six String Saturday. And then I may have already changed it to Tuesday Guitar as the little tab to click on. And you'll find my, my Zoom links there for, whoops. You'll find my Zoom links there. I was trying to type something and it kept auto-correcting, so I've <laughs> given up. <laughs> um, yeah, you can join me via Zoom, or you can uh, follow it as a live stream on, on YouTube, look at the past videos, and just start uh, start digging in. That'll be cool. Um, so the next thing we're going to be doing for Connor's Take Your Take Your Child to Work Day will be, I think you wanted to learn about editing videos, right? You said that's what we're going to do. Oh, did, I thought you said you wanted to edit videos. I just thought that's something that you did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, totally. So you know what? Oh, Robin, thank you for joining us. So we'll we'll do a video. Maybe we should do a. Um, you know what we'll do? We'll do a um, finger style guitar instructional video next, and then Connor gets to learn how to edit it. What song should we do? Do you guys have any ideas? We could put up what we just did, or we could do, um, I don't think I've done Dust in the Wind for guitar yet. He just, he's just shrugging. If you guys have any ideas, um, yeah, keep following me. I'm so glad that you joined me for this. That's so awesome. Um, yeah, I think I think maybe it's a dust learn how to play dust in the wind on the guitar kind of day. We might just do that. And then we'll post it up on YouTube. Oh, that'll be fun. All right. I need more coffee and Connor, you need where'd you gonna breakfast. Go? You need breakfast, okay. <laughs> you guys, we're gonna go. But thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for joining us for Take Your Child to Work Day. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. And um, you know, if you feel comfortable, make Connor pick a song. Yeah, all right. Oh. Eruption. Er uh. er <laughs> I'm learning fingerstyle guitar eruption. Oh, that would be insane. Are you learning that with Lonnie? No, he said to listen to it. Oh, I totally listen to it. Yeah. All right. Bye, Diane. Bye, everybody. Post a video oh, of yourself okay. playing if you're comfortable. I'd love to see.